Welcome to CCPL Get Transformed. I'm Sherelle Walters Rodriguez. CCPL invites you to share your world this summer. Chesterfield County Heat Public Library Summer Learning Program has lots of fun opportunities for you this summer. When you come by one of our 10 libraries, you'll have the opportunity to enjoy art, music, stories, and games to teach you more about cultures around you. See how people who live and work in Chesterfield County share their world with us every day. Sure you have equal length on your side. Yeah, the gunin or domish, domish water scenes. Yeah. This is how we share Yoruba culture in Nigeria. Halaltum ahlan wa nazaltum sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan fikum fi supermarket al Quds. Through music and dance, this is how we share our world with you. Enjoy. This is how we share our world. CCPL is excited about helping you to facilitate your summer learning experience. As part of that, we have bingo for all age groups. All you have to do is get hold of one of our loud and clear publications, and once you achieve these goals, you go on and mark the box. Once you mark all the boxes that help you to get bingo, you will be eligible for a prize. So we encourage you to come by and get our loud and clear. As part of summer learning, we also have museum bags. Now, what's that all about? Well, we have partnered with some of the museums in the Chesterfield County area where they're giving free passes to museums to those who check out those bags. Now, you'll have to put those bags on hold at your local library location. In those museum bags, you'll find items that will help enhance your family's experience. Chester Library, that's one of 10 libraries in the Chesterfield County Public Library System, recently partnered with Cornerstone Revitalization Center to provide books and services to children living in Shady Hill. That's a community off of Jeff Davis Highway. I am so proud of you for not quitting. Always, always, always trying hard. So Big Pal, Little Pal is a tutoring program for the kids at Binsley Elementary School and also for the middle school who live here in the Shady Hill community and also the Masonettes Apartments community. And our mission is really to provide a safe place for the kids to come after school where they're celebrated, encouraged, given a chance to dream, and we help them however we can with homework. Oh my goodness, the library just showed up like little angels. They come in, they love on the kids, they read with the kids, they provide books and the kids have come to recognize every time that the librarians come that they have 
friendly faces and they'll make requests for specific books. So they're really making that connection with the books and loving stories. I think is really wonderful. There's a particular boy this year who is below grade level with his reading, comes from a Spanish-speaking family. So this spring with the librarians coming in, he discovered a love of the Biscuit series of books. And so when he would see Miss Jessica and Miss Danielle, he would make a beeline for them and ask for the latest Biscuit book. So they then would make sure that they looked for the different Biscuit books to bring. And so it made this connection with him of loving those stories and he was eager to read them. He actually ended up being one of the winners of our spring um, reading log contest. And I just think it was really pivotal for him to make the connection with loving stories, um, loving a character in a book and having then that opportunity to explore those books through the, through the librarians. CCPL is focused on making learning fun. One of the ways we do it is with the Ettrick Matoica Train Day where participants can learn about trains and the importance of trains in that community. Central Library is also on board with making learning fun with Maker Expo. Participants get hands-on experience with making things. So make sure you join us next summer. Now speaking of summer, we have partnered with Chesterfield County Public Schools in providing lunches to our children living in this community. In addition to providing meals, we are actively encouraging our residents to donate food to the Chesterfield County Food Bank. I, I know what it's like not to have um, a meal at the end of the day. Uh, I know how it made my mother feel. We feed over 2,000 people a week and that is our normal mission and people have a hard time believing that there's that much need in Chesterfield. Um, our children and our seniors are the most vulnerable in our community. And the Chesterfield Food Bank takes that very seriously. I wouldn't take credit for anything that the system does. Um, we're a team. I'm certainly proud of the librarians who do this. I'm proud to be an institution that has staff that would see the value of doing this. That's why I'm a librarian. So if you get a chance to have a really you know, good sound meal at the end of the day. You feel better about yourself. Somebody needs to come alongside mom and dad or come alongside the seniors to make sure they're eating. And the library participates in our distributions. They participate in our summer programs for the kids. And they donate food, they donate books, they donate their time, they even give out hugs. And they're there to talk to the kids and we couldn't be more thankful for our partnership. I'm glad and proud that Chesterfield County Public Library partnering with Chesterfield Food Bank, we're able through our donation from customers and staff to be able to provide uh, more than 800 meals uh, in this next season. Thank you very much, Chesterfield Food Bank, for letting us be a part of this. Chesterfield County Public Library was recently chosen as one of 50 libraries in the U.S. to host a grant program called the American Creed Community Conversations. The program was designed to encourage civil dialogue. It's based on a documentary that is hosted by former U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice and David Kennedy. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning historian. It made the foundations of having civil engagement and it stressed the importance of being able to discuss topics civilly. I just felt sharing um, experiences and sharing knowledge and sharing opinions is important in furthering civil dialogue. So. That's kind of why we're here, so that's why I felt the need to chime in. So what I really liked about the program was actually breaking down 
uh, what being civil actually means, that it's not about being polite and being nice and everybody getting along. It's about having, or it should be about having honest conversations um, and embracing the complexities of people and people's experiences. It just sounded interesting and because of the polarization in this country, I felt like we need more of this where we all start to listen to each other instead of, you know, they're the enemy, we got to put them down and, uh, you know, we need to talk like we used to do and understand that we're all have common goals for this country and we want to move forward with it. I am very interested in hearing about social issues, in hearing from people who are not like me. I am very aware of the bubble that I live in and I'm very aware that I don't understand experiences of other people and I really want to. I would like to help my community show that I'm cared, involved, and I always want to make a difference and see people's, change people's minds and a point of view. Just because you see me as a black person doesn't mean that I'm always going to be a bad person who will just, you will hate for the rest of your life. You want to see me as a positive icon to my community. I'm looking for um, sort of uh, places, venues, um, where those conversations are going on um, to hear more. I think it will make a difference because it will change people's point of minds, what they think about us as colored people and what we think about white people. And that would be great so that we can work together and unite as one instead of being discriminated and thinking all these racial and ethical things. In July, CCPL's popular author series comes back with award-winning young adult author Ruta Sepetis. She writes historical fiction. Lastly, before we go, parents of young children who are attending school for the first time, mark your calendars for My First School Bus. That's our award-winning program where we partner with AAA, Chesterfield County Public Schools, and Chesterfield Police to help your children get on the bus and feel comfortable about it and learn the rules associated with riding a school bus. If you would like more information, go to our website at library.chesterfield.gov to get more information. And again, that program runs in August at all 10 of our library locations. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of CCPL Get Transformed. I'm Sherelle Walters Rodriguez.